Um, before we get too much into this video, um, no funny bad review this week, just because got really busy and um, don't really have the time or the energy to go and do like the skits and stuff, do the song and then edit it all and all that stuff that just takes a lot of time. Just don't really have uh, the time or the energy to do it this week, so yeah. Uh, next week though, you better believe it. <laughs> so um, let's talk about Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman came out in June and it was probably the biggest movie of the summer at that point. And it is, like, the biggest superhero origin movie of all time now, so that's that's kind of cool. Uh, when it came out, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was an amazing movie. And my thoughts have kind of changed a little bit, so let's talk about it. So, before she was Wonder Woman, she was Diana, princess of the Amazons, trained to be an unconquerable warrior. Raised on a sheltered island paradise, Diana meets an American pilot, Steve Trevor, who tells her about the massive conflict that's raging in the outside world. Convinced that she can stop the threat, Diana leaves her home for the first time. Okay, so Gal Gadot as Diana is alright. I think Gal Gadot is a pretty good actress. I don't think she's great. There are definitely some hit-or-miss moments of her acting in this movie. I think for the most part she nails it, but there are a couple of moments where I just didn't quite think her acting was that great. Uh, she's good enough to carry the movie, though. That's really good, because sometimes you have lead actors who can't really carry a movie, and then you're just kind of stuck with them as the protagonist for the whole thing when you don't care. So, she's not a great actress yet, but she's still good enough to really do a good job for the most part and carry the movie pretty well. And then you have Chris Pine as Steve Trevor is also really good. Uh, he has some really funny moments. I also don't think he's that great in this movie. I have seen him better in other movies. And I I think he still gives a good performance, and he and Diana have a very good, um, they have a very good setup relationship in the movie, and they work off of each other very well. And some of the most entertaining scenes in the movie are just the two of them interacting together. I just didn't think that uh, Chris Pine gave the best performance I've seen him give, but he still gives a pretty good one. And then you have David Thewlis as Ares is one of the best villains in a superhero movie ever. I mean, seriously. He is a very odd villain because he's... He's very unsettling. Because he's kind of menacing in a way where it's like he never actually does anything overly, like, he never really does anything to make you afraid of him. He's just so soft-spoken and calm when he finally reveals himself and he's explaining everything to Diana. And all this stuff is going on around them and he's just so calm and soft-spoken that it's... It's kind of unsettling and I really loved it. I think he gives an amazing performance in this movie and is one of my favorite villains ever in a movie, honestly. Uh, the world building in this movie is also really cool. Uh, that's something I didn't really uh, pay attention to that much when I first watched it, but the way they introduce the Greek gods into this universe and explain it all definitely makes this whole universe feel a lot bigger, and I really enjoyed that. Also, the supporting characters in the movie, specifically Steve's crew, are great. They add a lot of they add a lot to the movie, and they're a very fun and entertaining group. Um, yeah, and also, I forget the name of the actress, but uh, she plays Etta Candy. Pretty funny. Um, definitely a good side supporting character to the movie, but um, 
The action in this movie is also great. There are some very cool and creative action scenes in the movie, especially uh, one of my favorite scenes in the movie, the scene of Diana in No Man's Land. Really cool. Uh, the music in the movie is also really great. I love the uh, themes in the movie and the different uh, music. And I love how they really take their time before they play the uh, Wonder Woman theme from Batman v Superman. Um, yeah, it definitely takes a while to get in and it kind of builds up so that when it does kick in, it's really cool. And, I mean, honestly, every time it plays when I watch the movie, every time, even though I know it's coming, whenever it kicks in, it it gives me chills every single time. It's really great. But there is some negatives that I have. There are some very bad visual effects in this movie. Uh, some of the green screen near the beginning is pretty bad. Um, when you see, like, Diana as a little girl. Not the best at times. And uh, some of the CGI during the final battle with Ares is not that great either. <laughs> and there are also some kind of cheesy moments that don't always work that much. And part of it, I guess, is kind of just the tonal difference. This movie is definitely a lot more um, light. Uh, than Batman v Superman or uh, Man of Steel or Suicide Squad. Those movies are still pretty dark. Even though Suicide Squad had a little bit of humor to it, it was still a very tonally dark movie. This is a very tonally light movie. And so some of there are some kind of cheesy moments in the movie that don't work that well, but for the most part, it's nothing that detracts from the movie too much. This is still a very good movie. I don't think it's the great DC masterpiece that a lot of people claimed. It's good. It's even great compared to, like, Suicide Squad or the theatrical cut of Batman v Superman. And I honestly think that's why so many people think it's a masterpiece, is because it's like, compared to the rest, you have Man of Steel, which was a great movie. Then you have the theatrical cut of Batman v Superman. Could have been a very much better movie. Suicide Squad could have been a really... it could have used a lot of work. And so then you have Wonder Woman, which is actually a really good movie. It's hard not to think it's a masterpiece compared to those. Um, I do like... I like this movie a lot. I have some flaws with it. It's not a masterpiece. It's a really good movie, though. Uh, I would definitely recommend checking it out if you're a DC fan, and I'm going to give Wonder Woman an A. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on Wonder Woman and if they've changed since you saw it the first time. And be sure to check out the link in the description to our Patreon page. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you in the next video.